we have the intent and we have what information we're actually bringing it through. So what I want to do is talk about a search system. So has anyone seen this diagram before? Yeah? This is from Peter Morville, 2001, so it's actually a, fair, a fairly long time ago. But for me, it really describes where IA and technology meet when it comes to a search system. So we have the user's query, we have their intent. We have a search interface, and we can change that search interface once we start to know what people are looking for to actually get more information out of them. We have the search engine. So actually, what does it do? It indexes, it works, um, it does boosting, it does relevancy, it does ranking. We have then the content itself. I continue to have this discussion with the people I work with. If it's rubbish in, it's rubbish out. I can't do anything about it if I get five different listings for the bull's head. I can't do anything until we get rid of it. And then lastly, the results themselves, whether it's an interface or ranking or clustering algorithms. And so what I want you to see is that actually this is really, really connected to the information architecture, pretty much the deep IA of controlled vocabularies and content modelling. This is just the other way to get into it. So, what I really want to talk about is user's intent to start with. There we go. So, modes of information seeking. There is a, a long time researcher called Marcia Bates who actually has done a lot of work and she did the work on berry picking, which I know Lisa did a, a, a let's read all the historical papers uh, for a UX book club, of which one of them is this. And it was written in 1984, I think 1994. Um, and basically, Marcia Bates thinks about how people seek information. And these are the four ways that she has thought about it. So something is directed and active. I am searching for something. I'm undirected, but I'm active. I'm actually looking for something. So I'm looking for browse, I'm browsing. It's directed, but passive, I'm monitoring. And lastly, undirected and passive, I'm being aware. So let me go through a couple of these examples. Uh, when I first started this, I started to think that search really only belonged to searching. But actually search as an engine or something as a way to pull information up and provide it to us as a technology actually can cover a lot of these. So, active and directed, searching, typing in, getting a set of search results, knowing exactly what you want. But we can do directed and uh, undirected and active, which is we create browsing interfaces via our search engine. Or I'm sort of thinking about something, show me what's available in the search engine. And so thinking about free. Free just basically sits there and says, I'm interested in something that's free, but the rest of it, it pretty much is a browsing experience. Not terribly directed. I just know I don't want to pay any money for it. Monitoring. Monitoring usually comes up a lot and what we do with, for Twitter, for example, is we do a lot of monitoring. We say we're interested in a couple of people and we monitor what they're talking about and we monitor what's being said. So when it comes to search, you could talk about something like a saved search that's used in academia. Something that actually runs periodically and brings you that information. Now that could be film. I'm really interested in romantic comedies. Please, please make sure that any new romantic comedy gets sent to an email to me so I can put it into my love film or Netflix um, information. Or it could be your monitoring. Um, you set up uh, an email for something that you particularly are interested in um, when it comes to activities. And then the last one, and actually this is the one that I'm not really quite sure actually does appear to, with search, which is undirected and passive. So being aware is putting your some, someplace someplace and hoping that something will come along. 
and mostly from my perspective, I think of television as this way. You're being aware, you're in a place, you're sitting there watching it, and advertising comes past, and that's being aware. So when we think of intent when it comes to a user interface, we can actually start to design the user interface to gather more information about the user's intent and actually give them better results. So, and this is an ongoing conversation I have with my boss, which is, is it one box or is it three? Which one is actually going to meet our intent, the user's intent more? What can I do that can actually make sure that if someone looks for music today, they get the right information? And can I process that and make use of my facets? And from my perspective in the organisation that I'm in at the moment, the latter one is a better way for me to actually meet their user's intent. We will find people putting in uh, free and shortage, perhaps in what, but the majority of them know how to use a field and search.